If you post any of your work on Instagram, then you have to watch this video all the way through. Welcome back everyone. I love to use Instagram, but recently I started to realize that I was a slave to the Instagram algorithm. But after months of worrying about every single little detail and analytic, I realized I wasn't really growing from it and I wasn't really getting anything out of it creatively. Let me know in the comments if Instagram rules your day or if you know anyone who's super obsessed with it. So this forced me to look at Instagram from a different angle. Look, Instagram has potential to change your life overnight. I mean, the right person can give you a shout out and your career could take off. But here's the reality. The probability of that happening are slim. So stop using Instagram like you're one photo away from becoming the next big thing because what are you chasing? Do you want to become a better photographer or do you just want to be famous? Instead, use Instagram as a breeding ground for creative ideas, constructive criticism, and making friendships. When you use Instagram this way, you're actually sharpening your creative skills. And for me personally, it's a blast. Let's say you've been making consistent posts on Instagram and you've been getting a lot of attention and a lot of likes. Then you try something different and it doesn't garner the same attention. For some reason, this is disheartening, but why? And here's a take home message. Don't obsess over vanity metrics that the engineers over at Instagram dialed in to get you hooked. If we obsess over the metrics, then we stunt our own creative growth. Let's say that we ignored the little attention that our post received in our last example. And instead of running back to engineer comfort, we kept exploring and playing with our new font style. Well, now we are allowing ourselves to explore. And when we do this over and over, we start to develop this confidence in the whole process of being a creative person. And the process is the most important thing to understand. And to make sense of what the process is, the process is what I would consider the ups and downs that we experience in our journey. It's what helps us develop. And look, when we're going through our own creative process, that's when we are the most vulnerable because as artists, we don't, we don't even know what we're doing sometimes. But the cool thing is that at some point you start to realize if this is you or not. But the thing is only you know. The amount of attention your post receives should never dictate what you do. Now, doesn't this sound like a funner way to use Instagram? Let's say you found a style that you really like and you've been dialing it in and everyone around you loves it. And you say, okay, I took the picture that I was waiting for. This is gonna be the big one. I'm gonna post this on Instagram. So you post your work on Instagram and nothing. Ouch, right? Well, not necessarily. Same thing that makes Instagram great also makes it difficult to understand. And that's the size of the platform. I know it can feel impossible to be found, but let's look at it this way. Instead of leaving it up to an algorithm to find your audience, how about you find your audience? How about you develop that? This is one of the best things that I've done. And look, I don't have millions of followers, but the few hundred that I do have, understand that from time to time, I put out a dud. And from time to time, I like to explore different styles and they never penalize me for it. Unlike the algorithm, if you don't consistently post what they deem is you, then you get lost. If you know who your audience is, then you never run out of ideas, you never run out of inspiration, and you almost feel like you have a relationship with them because you're able to reach out and ask them, hey, what do you think about this? If you understand what I'm saying, leave a comment below. But if you don't, ask away in the comments too. I'm here for you. I could spend hours talking about this stuff, but for now, let's just digest what we learned. And maybe it's time to reevaluate our relationship with Instagram. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you've gone through yourself. Okay, now that social media doesn't control us, Let's get out there and pursue our passions.